Well, campaign 2020 now, a CBS poll of Nevada Democrats shows that Bernie Sanders is leading the race with Joe Biden right behind and then Elizabeth Warren comes in third if the caucus were to be held today. Paul Nelson shows us what the poll says voters think about the issues, including the economy as well. There's not much of a surprise here. 89% of Democrats say health care is their top priority. That's followed with climate change, guns, income inequality, and education. Notice the economy isn't part of the top five, but when you look at this, most Democrats say the economy isn't doing very well. Only 4% say it's very good, and 35% say it's fairly good. So most of them say the economy is either fairly bad or very bad. It's a far more negative view than what you see if you do an overall poll, and particularly for Republicans. Eric Herzig says Nevada's Democrats in this poll are shifting more to the left, not only with their candidates of choice, but with the issues. By far, health care, uh, then climate, guns. We're seeing a totally different kind of electorate on the Democratic side and the Republican side. The health care debate continues, even within the Democratic Party and its presidential candidates. Sanders is all in on Medicare for all and we're going to get rid of private insurance. Biden is saying, oh no, we have to expand Obamacare, provide health insurance for everybody. More than 70 percent of Democratic voters say they'll vote in February's caucus. That's a pretty high number considering only 18 percent of the electorate voted in the 2016 primary election. Most say they would participate by phone or online, but that won't happen during this cycle. That's a popular idea with uh, rank and file Democrats, but clearly not with the party leadership. Most Democratic voters still think Biden has the best chance to beat President Trump. 85% say they support him because of his work as President Obama's vice president. If I'm Joe Biden, I like that, that number that I get. By the same token, you had 60% um, saying they wanted the party to become more progressive than what it was under Obama. If you want to take a look at the CBS poll, head to our website for a link. Herzig says there's about seven viable Democratic candidates left. Twelve others are polling at 1% or less. Herzig says a lot more will drop out as they start to run out of funding. Covering campaign 2020 in the studio, Paul Nelson, 2 News.